All right then guys, welcome to the video, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the Tegua Cars and Coffee event in 2023. And I've actually stolen Spencer from the Tegua's YouTube channel to film this intro, so shout out to you. Basically just showing up, and as you can see, the EP3 is on the Tegua stand, and it's at an airfield. Usual car show vibes apply for this video. I'm gonna walk around, show you what sort of cars are here and all that kind of stuff. So let's get into the day, let's see what cars show up at the Tegua Cars and Coffee event. So I'm actually here, well, I've been here Almost an hour already. Cars all set up here. And these are the cars that have arrived for the stand so far. And then there's also there's all this space down here for this one. So obviously still, well, actually technically it hasn't even opened yet. 9 a.m. is when it's supposed to start. And there's obviously all these cars here already. I'll give you this view right now. And I won't start walking around some cars until a lot more stuff has shown up. But I just thought I'd give you an idea of how much space there is and how empty it is right now. So let's see how busy this thing gets moving forward. These are the cars on the Tegawa stand along with mine. So we've got this Lotus here, brand new got this sick jag with well look at the size of the engine in this on some bbs wheels as well low looking rad this s2000 that is actually for sale if anyone wants to buy it pretty much standard apart from the ebc brakes i believe ebc used this to create the brake system for this car actually which is pretty cool anyway yeah if you want to buy an s2000 there's one for sale e36 race car by the looks of it it's got ap racing brakes got some free stickers cool livery on that then we've got Probably one of the brightest, coolest designs on an EP3. Obviously supporting a great cause as well. Yeah, seen this all over Instagram. This is actually my first time seeing this in person. It's cool to see a cosmic grey car with a livery on it, actually. Really cool. And the buddy cub bonnet is so sick. It's got another extra vent in it as well, which is pretty incredible. Then we've got my car. You guys know this. There we go. And we've got a GR Yaris here as well. Miltech exhaust here as well. So we bought a couple of the demo cars and obviously one of the cars that was the demo car is the Miltech exhaust system for the FL5 with the Tegawa's FL5. I've obviously filmed when I did the tour video, but here is the system. It's cool seeing it now actually, because when I was doing my shop tour, didn't have the wheels, didn't have the exhaust. So that's pretty rad, look at that. Got these wheels on it now, looks super sick. And then we've got Suki, the NSX race car again. When I was there, it didn't have any of this crazy carbon aero on it. So it's so cool to see that now that it's actually all been done. This wing is absolutely ginormous. Looks incredible though. What a crazy back end, just all full carbon. And then we've got drift demos happening today as well. Some pretty crazy drift missiles. Look at this in here. And the other cool thing as well is they have all the things that are usually in their showroom. They obviously bring these out to shows and all that. So they've got some parts on display. But what's really cool is today you can actually order stuff from Tegua and it will get delivered here today for you, which is pretty rad. And there's 10% discount today as well. Okay, fast forward about an hour or so and so many more cars have turned up. Absolutely love the livery and just all the kit on this S14. So rad. But we've got track spec EP3. We've got McLaren here, but we've got this Lexus LF which I don't know if I've actually ever seen one of these in person. This thing is absolutely incredible. Loads of cars still rolling in. We're still only 40 minutes from this thing actually officially starting. This thing, I'm hoping it's gonna do some revs later and I'm hoping I'm around when that happens. Got this 350, got a Mini, got a GR, Supra, another Yaris, and tons more cars. I don't even know if you'll be able to even see how far back these go, but I'm gonna start walking around because I don't actually think I'm gonna be able to get around it all if I don't start now. This M3, Jesus. This is proper track spec. Look at the camber on the front. Next to an S15, absolutely incredible. Wow, there's going to be tons of EP3s today. Cool bronze colour on the wheels. Crop M intake in there as well. Some more EP3. <laughs> Sorry, mate. No worries. Nice. Going to Pro Series. Tegu Banner. So there's also a load of DC5s. Then we've got this Stagia. RS here. This is got to be one of the coolest like family wagons, like JDM vibes. And we've got FN2, black FK2, looks super good. FK2 plate as well. And we've got some more old school stuff. Look at the Civic next to a Micro. This is proper throwback. And this crazy kit on this MX-5 Mark 1. It just makes it look so tiny. Got another EP3 here. This plate is sick. And I can see just hidden away a little front mount intercooler that looks like. So yeah, that's got some power. Another FK2. Got another Civic, the D-Series engine. Got an EP3 here as well, next to another EP3. RS3, Civic Aerodeck in the best colour. This is the colour that my mum had hers in. And has this got the leather interior as well? Oh, yeah, this is proper throwback. Is it? Oh, this is a manual though, so my mum's one was an auto, but that is proper throwback for childhood me, that. Got a Premier Edition EP3 by the looks of it here. It's 
Pretty cool, got stripped out in the rear. Got a GR Yaris, another Mark I MX-5 here. This EP3 here has got some really cool like red wheels on it though. Check these out. Yeah, that red's pretty nice. Carbon bonnet as well, really nice. This Megan is pretty rad. It's actually got two different sets of wheels on it. A track weapon, dogfight banner as well, super cool. Then we got a DC5 next to that. And then another DC5 here, Honda HQ banner. Shout out to Honda HQ. That number plate's sick as well. Got a black FL5 here. Look at that plate as well, FL5. That's so rad. We got a GTR here. This is looking very nice. Got some like Nismo seat covers by the looks of it. Looks really standard though. Just standard wheels. Does have an exhaust in it, which I can't show because it's into the bush. But if you can see in there. These super shiny chrome wheels on this Lexus here. And then another EP3, big EP3 showing today, which is pretty rad. Here's another one as well, Cosmic Grey, looking pretty much standard. Another Premier Edition though, very nice. Swift, and then another EP3, but this DC2 next to it. It's like this really nice purple color. A load of carbon bits on as well, carbon front lip, carbon bonnet. Ray C28N's the ultimate wheel for any Honda. Obviously it's got the seats that I've got in mind because this is what I've pinched them out of. Oh, school JDM Honda vibes but yeah what a wheel and then the purple with the bronzy gold wheel is such a great combination got a couple of black EP3s next to each other again RPF ones looks great carbon bonnet this was one of the cars that was on my stand at Japfest these wagons are rad <laughs> look at this though wagon on T37s that is such a baller move it's like oh I had to sell the cool car but now I've made a cool car out of the family car another DC5 looking really nice got Integra Type R seat covers as well which... and here is another car that was on my stand at Japfest first a few more carbon bits added to this since the last time i saw it though carbon wings is crazy standard wing in carbon fun seeing that now that i've got the full carbon mugen wing as well again carbon boot plinth like mine and we got this civic here with a kind of a max power kind of vibe i feel like this this kind of thing's coming back but this is cool we've got those recaros like in my car and then we've got this euro r at the moment is the end of this first line which is mad that there's still all those other cars still to go down there but down here this area here is where there's going to be some drifting happening happening later on. And now starting on the row here, we've got this Civic here, got an FN2, got a Focus RS, another Mark 1 MX-5. Oh, whoa, look at the front mount on this Duke. That's pretty crazy. There seem to be many Jap cars here, as you'd expect from Tegawa Meet, and clearly a strong Honda community show up. But obviously, I'd say so far, the most popular car is the EP3, which is lovely to see. This is pretty low, look at this. Got a Raptor in here, monstering over everything else. Next to another EP3, loving this. White wheels really works with the Milano red on these things. Turbo K24, clearly. Scream of out the bonnet. Anki RPF1s, classic look in silver. Got the carbon B pillars like mine. Bit of a wing extension. K tune turn down. The wing on this R33 is crazy. Look at the size of it. Absolutely monstrous. Pretty clean looking WRX here as well. Another EP3 with Evo Enkeys. Another Cosmic Grey P3. We got this S14 with the Advan three piece wheels. Super cool. Some cool things. That Apexi stick on the back is pretty rad. Look at that. It's MPS. It's got a track kind of vibe to it. Another DC5. Got an FK8 here. Some bronze Enkeys. Low carbon bonnet. Various carbon bits. Looks good on the championship, right? Then just chilling in the mix of it all is this Audi R8 with the V10. <laughs> Next to something like this micro, which is a brilliant contrast between the two. GT86 here, championship white EP3, and this has even got plastic wrap over one of the seats. I think I saw this car at Japanese Performance Show. Very cool. Next to this Evo. Yeah, there we go. Evo 8. Got this MX-5 here. Look at this with the center exit exhaust. No wing on the back either. Got this crazy wrap on this fk8 though look at this it's like i guess it's a matte midnight purple it looks like the car was originally red <laughs> kid is absolutely loving that what a cool color to do on this car just really accentuates all the crazy angles that the honda designed with this car pink dc5 i saw at jap first does kind of work actually the camera doesn't really do the color justice it's like this really bright sort of chrome color and next to it is this big track spec tc5 wider front arches everything stripped up in the rear like got lexan windows this must be an animal on track got full like fuel cut lines everything so this must be actual legit race car really nice in condition though i have a sneaky suspicion that this thing is k swapped based on the guy's instagram so i'll give you a shout out shame we haven't popped the bonnet but 
There you go, fully stripped out in the rear. Racing seats, crazy shifter. Spoon stickers look so good. I do still have my spoon stickers the same as that, just sat in a box. I just don't know what to do with them, whether I put them on the S2000 or on the EP3, I just can't decide, although I just hold them for now. This STI is pretty cool, got loads of nice little carbon extras on this. Carbon front strakes down here, carbon front lip, carbon grill. When these first came out, I wasn't a big fan of them, but actually nowadays, I really quite like them. Then next to that is another championship white EP3. Got a Mugen Wing on it too, which is cool. Look at this. I love a K car, these things are so cool. Absolutely tiny though. Look at that little Momo wheel as well. Twin exit exhaust, how cool is that? But yeah, look at that. Still got the JDM flare in there. Right, it is drift time. So I'm gonna head down to the drift track and hopefully get a good spot before everyone else gets down there. So let's go see these things rip around. Again, another EP3. Got the leather interior in this one though. Rare to see it in all black as well. It's usually two-tone, I believe. Black does look good when it's clean, but I just couldn't imagine having to deal with trying to clean that all the time. Another EP3 here, FN2. Got some old Fords here as well. And I saw this S2000 driving in. I absolutely love how this thing looks. Voltex front bumper, the Jays Racing bonnet, some gram lights all around. The side skirts are pretty cool, actually. I do quite like those. It's got the NVIDIA exhaust on it as well, by the looks of those tips. Ah, imagine my car lowered. It's going to look so good. And obviously, it's got the hard top on, which looks timeless. This BMW is pretty wild. Look at the size of the turbo on this. Fully shaved engine bay and everything as well. Looks like it's on Link ECU. This thing must be wild. I heard it arriving and <laughs> it was certainly loud. Then we've got a couple of FN2s next to each other. Golf GTI. Got this MX-5 here, looking very low with the LEDs on. And we've got a Mark 1 Focus RS here as well. Look at that. So we've got this DC2 here, looking super nice. Black wheels, S2000 line. I think these are the 9K Everyday Boys. I'm actually in a WhatsApp group with all these guys, but I've never actually met them in person. But this is a very cool color. I, I also filmed this at Japanese Performance Show. This has got some carbon side skirts, I think look really good. And we've got the little spat. This is like an OEM spat. Kind of tempted to get those. Depends whether I end up replacing the entire side skirt. But yeah, RPF ones look incredible as always. And it's got a full carbon wing on the back as well. More S2000s, a bit more standard, a bit more standard. This car, which this has got some bits on it that I want. I'm definitely in the market for this Cusco strut brace. Definitely going to be getting one of those. And then I also do want one of these carbon cooling panels as well to feed air into, well, Obviously, I have the same intake on mine. Then I ended up actually behind this thing on my way here. Looks super good with the exhaust out the back it's sitting so low. Got a little bit of a wide arch on the back as well. Just so cool seeing these out and about. We've got this super track spec one here as well. Single exit exhaust out the back, turn down tip. Then we got this car. You might have seen this on YouTube before. Just being Hayden turbo build car that you might have been following along with. It's funny to see this thing now obviously turboed when I saw it before all this went down and everything. This thing's pretty insane. Got this GT86 here, front lip on it, got a carbon bonnet and stuff. Then we've got a EP3 and championship white with red Recaros, the classic combo. Got another S2000 here, followed by a DC5, but next to that is this yellow EK9. Looks absolutely incredible. Seats are in incredible condition as well by the looks of it, so quite jealous about that. Such a good car. So we've got another EP3, EP3, DC5. We've got this bagged GT86, bagged TT as well. I think that is actually their Instagram. Yeah, it is. <laughs> E46. 
M3 drift car by the looks of it. Maybe even, I don't know, see the drift car or race car. Another DC5 WRX STI here as well. The CP3 has got a few crazy bits. It's got the Fiberworks wider front wings on it. This Glanza next to it, it's got some crazy like glitter paint. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, the bonnet on this thing just needs a relacquer, but pretty aggressive looking bonnet. Next to it though is this Evo and look how sick this thing is. I love the yellow accent around the grill there. That looks really cool. Yellow brakes as well to complement that. Really nice yellow pinstripe. Yeah, this is cool. I love the yellow little touch. Such a cool car. Another DC5, another JDM EP3. This is crazy. Another S14 here. Championship white FK8, an EK4 and a Forester STI, which is super cool. This is crazy. It's got the prep works. K swapped obviously, such a cool inlet manifold, looks amazing. This MX-5, not that I can get in there, is running ITBs by the looks of it, that must be pretty rad. Got this clear that looks pretty set up as well, and next to that is another EP3 here, and then we've got this EP3 with the Buddy Club front bumper by the looks of it. Pretty aggressive like this, got a really nice carbon bonnet, the Mugen style one. The hex mesh is pretty cool. S14, love the kits for these cars, makes them look so cool. Got an Altezza next to that. Big front mount intercooler, E36 with the crazy kit. Got this B series with a big turbo strapped to it. And this Civic, lots of cool stuff going on. NKRPF ones, some Nankang and S2Rs, same tires I've got on my S2000. It's got DC5 Recaros in there as well. Quite like the purple touches and everything. Look at the size of the turbo on this EP3. Look at the bonnet on this thing as well. But yeah, fully stripped out in the rear again. This DC5's got this cool lip on the bottom and the wheels work in motion. It's got a side scale on it by the looks of it as well, but this front lip is really cool. Super clean STI. This blue is it's just a classic blue, isn't it? It looks really good against the gold. Couple more EP3s. This one's looking pretty fresh. So it's completely standard apart from, I think it's got coilovers on it. This might be the first GR86 I've seen in person. I know it's very similar to the GT86, but there's, there's something slightly different. I do like the front bumper design on this. It's one more than I like the Subaru one. I've got an Evo next to it as well. Well, got a 35, Focus RS, with a tank engine swapped, Mark IV Supra that I film at every show this thing's at. And this big crowd of people are here for this R34 GTR in here. Crazy. RB28, absolutely insane. There's a cool little carbon bits as well. Old school HKS turbo heat shield as well. Really rad. Got a couple of pretty rad cars next to each other. This K-Swap DC2 looks really good. How rad is that? And next to it, this S15 in yellow. S15 is definitely on my list of cars I want to own. This Civic here with a cool kit. That front bumper's rad. But yeah, this thing's actually supercharged. I've just spotted it. it's got K-Sport big brakes in the front as well. Also nice to see a silver DC5, pretty rare, but again, a white DC5 park next to it. Then we've got FK2 here, another EP3, sick plate, EP03, that's so rad. FD2 with C 28 ends, what a combo. It's got the Mugen wind deflectors as well. Got a carbon blade on the spoiler. And the next to that, we've got championship white FK2. This GT86 got some Buddy Club front brakes on it. Look at those Buddy Club front brakes. Work in motions as well. The front splitter on this FN2 is pretty rad. Never really seen anyone on like that on one of these. That's so cool. Chris's gray FK8 sold his EP3 to buy this. That's like sick with HKS front mount on it. So obviously he came to my meet at Cafe Machine recently. Another EP3 here. Some Evo 8 Enkis, the classic. FN2, FK2. This is super clean. This is the opposite way around to my S2000. This is yellow with blue brakes rather than blue with yellow brakes like mine. Pop in the bottom, it looks like got a screamer out the front. Blue DC5 Recaros. Super sick. And as you would expect, it is K-swapped. Skunk 2 inlet, but big turbo on it as well. EK looks rad on gram lights as well. Very, very cool. This DC5 is wild. The bonnet on this is crazy. Absolutely mad. Headlights look in pretty good condition as well. I like the way that it's folded their way, the plate. Looks like Buddy Club P1 wheels as well. Got a 3000 GT, this Evo. Always a big fan of these. Another EP3 rolling in right now. The E46 M3, like I've said many a time, this is probably my favorite M3 that they've done. We've got another black EP3 here. Now, there's so many cars here, I don't even know if I filmed this EK9. This thing is sick. I think a couple of other cars have shown up since I walked back this way. So this is the track spec DC5 that I showed you earlier. And as you can see, the rear is open now, fully 
sprayed in this cool like anthracite gray kind of color the bonnet is popped as well i'll show you that check out the engine bay of this thing though prac works inlet manifold full carbon i did think about getting this for mine but couldn't justify it when i'd already had the skunk Zoo ultra the cool like lime green i guess that is the color lime green rocker cover really offsets well with the rest of the car because there is no other lime green on this at all but as you can see like everything's been like zinc coated and all that kind of stuff even this is carbon that's rad like a little tube for the intake but yeah everything's seam welded this is proper track car but it's like so nicely done that it's basically like a show car at the same time absolutely wild so the lexus lfa is rolling out and i'm of course going to try and get you guys a v10 screaming rev clip he was just revving it i couldn't get the camera in time so i'm hoping as he leaves he's gonna give it another rev <laughs> So then guys, that is gonna do it for this one. It's been a crazy day that everyone is starting to leave and I can hear people absolutely sending it out of here. <laughs> this has been amazing. Like considering this is just like a Sunday morning cars and coffee kind of event thing, this is absolutely crazy. So many cars as you've obviously seen and with the added little extra of the drifting as well, super nice. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below on what your favorite car of the day was. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna check out more EP3 content, more S2000 content, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.